Hello again, everybody. And in this video, uh, we are going to look at uh, managing your projects um, in IntelliJ, um, in particular, opening and closing uh, projects. Um, so let's um, start off IntelliJ. Um, what we'll do here is just for the purposes of this project, um, I'm just going to remove um, any recent uh, projects that I have there just for the purposes of, the, of this video. Um, and what I'm going to do is um, just go through the normal process of creating uh, just an, an example, um, an example project. OK, so let's create this project first of all. So we'll just call this um, project Hello World, okay, just as an example project to work with. And um, we'll just leave the other settings um, as they are. Uh, just to mention uh, that the default location, um, the default lo uh, save location um, for your projects is on your C drive. Um, it's on a pro uh, folder called Idea Projects. Um, which sits within, within your um, the directory structure of your C drive. Okay. Um, for now, though, let's go ahead and create this uh, simple project. Okay. So we'll go ahead and create the project as normal. And um, what we'll do here is just give this a couple of moments just to start up. Okay. And um, as always, um, we'll create a new Java class. Uh, just for example purposes. Okay, so a new uh, main class there, and um, we'll just create a method. Create okay, a main method for our project, and we'll just do our usual system out print line. Hello world. Okay, and we'll just check that um, the project runs as expected without any build errors and so on. And um, this is looking pretty good. We've got the outputs there. OK, so this is a project. We can imagine this is a project that we're, um, we've been working on. Um, and uh, we want to save it. So first of all, if I just go to File and Save All, OK, that's probably the best way to save um, everything about your project. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and we'll close this project. OK, so we'll just go to File and close project okay and um, i'm also going to remove it from this list okay just for the exam uh, purposes of this video so we'll remove recent projects okay okay so um, let's start up IntelliJ again so you can imagine maybe a few days has passed um, or you're using a different computer um, and you want to open up a project that you've previously been working on so let's go to IntelliJ and we'll open this up just as before. Now, this time, um, what we'll do is we'll go to Open. And we'll select the location um, where the project is saved. So we know that the project is saved in the Idea Projects directory on our C drive. But this could just as easily be on, say, for example, a data stick or some kind of um, cloud storage, um, OneDrive, um, or, or so forth. Um, but what we'll do is we'll just navigate to the place where we know our project is stored. In my case, um, the project is going to be stored in the idea projects uh, directory. And there it is. So we know that this is the project folder here. It's got the small IntelliJ icon. You can hardly see that, but this is the project that we want to open. So we click the name of the project that we want to open and just go ahead and click OK. And our project will open up. Just to say as well, if you open your project and you find that the main.java uh, code file that you've been working on isn't appearing, okay, what you can do is just click into the source directory and just double click um, from there. Okay, and uh, that's just the basic process of um, creating, uh, saving, closing, and then reopening a project um, in IntelliJ. Um, the other thing, just while I'm on the topic, that you can do is if you want to package up um, a particular project folder that you've been working on. So let's just close this again, close the project. OK, um, let's go back to our, and I'll just remove this as always for the purposes of the video. Um, one thing you can do is if you want to share a project, 
you can actually put, package it up as a zip folder. Now, this is quite useful if you want to maybe, um, for whatever reason, um, share a project folder with somebody else, um, maybe over a, a network, um, or if you want to email a project to somebody else. Um, could also be used, for example, if you were to submit a particular project, say for a piece of coursework, if you were working in a course um, or what have you. So what you can do here is you can right click, okay, right click and um, in Windows, um, just go to compress to zip file. Okay, and now this creates a copy, a zipped copy of the project folder. Now, the only thing you have to remember is with IntelliJ, you can't open um, a zipped folder. Okay, you have to uncompress or decompress the folder first. Okay, so just to uh, give you an example of that, I'll just rename this uh, project folder. I'm just going to call this Hello World Copy. Okay, so you can imagine that this is a folder, a zipped folder that somebody's perhaps sent you. Um, what you need to do in that case is right click, go to extract all and extract the project onto the C drive. Okay, so this is a copy of the, um, the original project. Again, to open that, um, easy enough, you just go to IntelliJ, um, might have to refresh the projects folder. Um, there it is, it's my hello world copy, uh, which is sitting there. That's a copy that came from the zip folder. And let's just open that up. Okay, now because it's come from a zip folder, it's warning us uh, just to be a little bit careful um, that this the source of this um, uh, project is one that we can trust. Okay, so for now, I trust this project and we're just going to click uh, trust project. And there we have it. We have our um, decompressed or unzipped um, version of the project, which is opening up in IntelliJ. So Thanks everybody for watching. Um, I hope this video was useful and uh, take care and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.